it's a little windy. We got this strong eastern wind. But the goal for today is to go out there on the jetty, catch some kind of fish, and recreate Nashville hot chicken, but with fish. Not sure what fish we're gonna get, but ideally something that we can put on a, a piece of white bread with some pickles and that hot sauce, and it'll be nice and delicious. So let's get out there, and thanks for joining. So even on a mellow day, there's a decent amount of current going on at this jetty. Uh, so I'm casting a two ounce Ron Z with the eight inch tail in pearl white. And what I've found with this lure is less is more. You don't, I'm not really snap jigging it like I would a bucktail or a swim bait or like a jerk shad. So I'm trying to get it higher and lower in the water column, but without snapping it, I'm kind of just like lifting the rod and reeling at the same time. And then that's how I'm kind of making it move up and down in the water column so less of a snappy erratic type jig and more of a elegant elevation of the jig and i found that to be the most effective way to work this lure so really less is more you gonna eat it mm. no? No, no so once the tide switched to low tide slack I went to a little bit of a lighter profile and changed the color up to pink because the incoming tide was starting to come in. I noticed there was a lot more seaweed and kind of dirty water forming. So I switched to pink, which is a little more natural, but also uh, stands out in the dirty water. And so this is the six inch Ron Z in the pink color. And the there jig is. head is a three eighth inshore red oh, Ron Z. Uh, so yeah, all Ron Z this day, and that's what I caught the porgy on, and also this fluke. Yeah, 16 and a half. Well, I think I'm going to roll out of here. Fishing's been kind of tough in New York City lately, but shout out to Ron Z. This is the 3 8 inshore jig head, and I'm using the pink 6 inch. Just got bit off by, I think, a bluefish. So I'm pretty sure this is the most ingredients I've ever worked with for a dish before. It's a little overwhelming. We've got buttermilk, ghee, extra creamy butter, eggs, Old Bay hot sauce or Louisiana style hot sauce, white bread, I'm using Wonder Bread, flour, brown sugar, salt pepper, paprika, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, pure vegetable oil and uh, pickles. Already brined the porgy for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours now. But we're gonna do a second brine and then this is also gonna work for our batter mix. And so we're gonna toss in one cup of the buttermilk in here. Never worked with buttermilk before. It's pretty thick stuff. And then we're gonna crack one egg. Let's crack one egg. Make sure, to wash your hands. We got three cameras rolling. Hello. So yeah, we got the buttermilk, we got the egg, and I'm gonna do my own little twist. I'm gonna do a little, a little fresh cracked pepper, a little salt. Because this is so thin, I think I'm gonna use a little bit of flour just to sort of thicken it up just a touch. Just a little bit of flour. And we're gonna use the flour again for our double batter mix. Mix this together. So the recipe calls for either hot oil or lard for the like the oil dressing part, but they didn't have that at the grocery store. So I'm gonna try ghee, which is kind of like a butter oil. I don't know they were working with on a, a cooking show I was, I was shooting recently, and uh, I thought it'd be cool. So I'm gonna mix ghee and a little bit of creamy butter and I don't know, try and make it work. And so to our, our batter mix, we're gonna add a little bit of hot sauce, Louisiana style. I saw Old Bay style hot sauce, never used it before. And 
yeah, I figured I'd try, try it out. Probably work. Add a little bit of that in there. All right, now that's all mixed up. We're gonna put our porgy fillets in there. And I'm gonna let this sit in here for about maybe, maybe an hour and a half and let it kind of stiffen up in there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a sort of a double batter fry. So I'm gonna have flour set up on one side, the buttermilk on this side and do a little back and forth before we toss it in the, the deep fry. All right, we are back. I'm doing a lot of stuff off camera, but hopefully this doesn't get interrupted. I uh, set up a light because we're running out of daylight here. It's been a, a long day, but I've got our, uh, our porgy. It's been brining for a while. I've got our ghee and butter. Uh, melting down up here i've got our oil hopefully around 350 degrees and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do like a back and forth between the flour and the buttermilk batter dip it in there and then we'll make our spice mix and these these fillets are actually pretty big size it's kind of a a perfect perfect fish that we caught. I think this is going to be like a perfect little sandwich. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go back and forth and really make this a, a thick, thick amount of batter here. Just like really pour it in. Really pour it on there. All right, here we go. Slowly drop that in there. <laughs> Got my spices over here, which is quite a lot. We've got garlic powder, paprika, sea salt, black pepper, brown sugar, cayenne. A lot going on here. And then we got this melted down ghee, which I've never, never used before. Here I throw all these spices in here. I think we could flip our porgy. It looks awesome. The camera's probably getting a bunch of, bunch of deep fry on it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this camera so we can get a little bit of B-roll. That looks great. <laughs> All right. Just chilling watching the show. Uh, I think this filet is done. Yeah, maybe give it a little longer. All right. Well, I think this fillet is done. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That looks amazing. All right. Next fillet. Let's get her in there. Looks so tasty. I like putting stuff away while I'm cooking. What's interesting about this ghee is that I found it on the shelf and it was uh, just room temperature. I guess I'm gonna leave it out here until I know what to do with it. But yeah, first time cooking with ghee. And uh, yeah, not sure what to think about it. All right, let's give this a flip. It looks about done. <laughs> Wow. Almost started a grease fire there. <laughs> Looks so amazing. Look at that. And then we got our, our super spicy sauce over here. That's what I'm talking about. The ocean provided us with the perfect amount. Look at that. 
Wow. Nashville Hot Porgy. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. All right, we are running out of light, so let's eat this Nashville Hot Porgy Sandwich. Keep getting interrupted by work stuff. But look at this. Just gonna try a little bit of just the, wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh wow, that's instantly hitting me. Instantly. The spice is immediately going to my head. All right, let's get the, the, the true sensation. Unbelievably spicy. I'm gonna do my best to put all the directions and ingredients to how I prepared this, because I didn't really follow any uh, recipe that I found. I kind of just changed it up with what they had at the grocery store. If you get a chance to try this, do it. And uh, if, you, if you're ever in Nashville, go to uh, Bolton's or Hattie B's or just give Nashville hot chicken a try. It's, wow, my, woo. <coughs> I got the emergency milk just for this. I made sure to put it on the side. Yeah, I'm planning on trying a bunch of new recipes out this year. Wow, oh, I can barely speak. This is so hot. It's like different than ghost pepper hot. It's like um, just continually getting spicier and spicier. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.